We're gonna talk about the future again, but here's what you're gonna love about this. I'm gonna actually give you a time and something quite specific. This is not from me. This is from a higher being that was shared. I'm gonna share the details with you and it's really good because I know you guys keep wanting to know what's going to happen. You don't believe you're doing it, but you do have a choice in what I'm about to tell you. April of 2026 is pivotal. You want to know why? You're going to have to hang in there. Let's go. Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through fears and live an amazing life. Slurp, slurp. Mm. Just a note that I do speak of exactly the details of 2026, around seven minutes. You can skip forward. However, what I share with you before that is so important. So I hope that you'll stick with me, watch the video through to the seven minutes and the actual prediction itself. I'm going to share some things that are coming up, things that I've shared with you in my videos. People want things that are specific, but we can't really do that because even those who have told the future have been wrong so many times. Why? They don't use it to tell us what's in stone. They use it to tell us as warning signs of what we can change. So all the things, especially with Edgar Casey, Nostradamus too, of course, let us know this is what you're in for if you don't change. But we took it as an in stone, this is what's going to happen. So we say, oh, it didn't happen. He was wrong. No, their predictions didn't come true, not because they were wrong, but because we shifted our consciousness to another pathway, another probability. And that's what we're doing right now. Now, I, first of all, I hope you'll subscribe. This keeps me going. We've got to talk about this. We're going to address this. Everything you do is the message out there of what you want. So where you place your focus is what is created. It either takes the consciousness frequency up or down, right? We either stay in density and destroy each other, or we have respect, we go to a higher frequency. And so your decisions, including what you subscribe to, determines that. All right? Things are much bigger than we could possibly imagine. Now... I have shared with you in my past videos that something big was coming that was just before the health issue. I told you, you better get your everything in order because something really big was happening. A big event. A big event happened. After that, I told you to get your house in order. There was going to be some big changes, but there were going to be a series of events. And a series of events started to happen. It's going to continue on. We are not going to have big cataclysmic events. We're not going to have anything that, were, that was predicted in the past. So far, so good, right? The more we raise our consciousness, the more we go into a, a different probability of what this planet can be as a collective. You'll, you have your own individual experience also. So you can either see the world as a wonderful place and be working on the solutions, or you could be over here arguing about who's going to go into office and, and handing your power over to people that, you know, let's not even go there. What I want to share with you right now is that we are getting assistance. Our neighbors have been sitting and waiting because we're the bad neighbor over here that if, you know, if we go on the property, we get shot at, right? That's literally what happens here. And so those higher conscious beings in all forms, and I showed you the pictures of my uh, subscribers' orbs that were beautiful. Many people are experiencing that. I've seen orbs. What are those? No, we're not cray-cray. And people are starting to realize, because they're experiencing it themselves, that these are other dimensions that exist right here. But because we're in a lower consciousness, we're not participating in it. Right? We're not opening those doors. We're here. And, and when you go to higher consciousness, you start to open doors and realize, wait a minute, there's all this other stuff on the other side. That's all it is. It's really that simple. It's energy, dimensions, frequencies, everything, okay? Now, we're going into a consciousness now, and it is your choice. You don't have to. You can, start, you can keep arguing with other people, go into conflict and separation, you know, look at each other's skin color and make up some stupid stuff, and, and listen to the media. Media is completely controlled. 
it's all controlling us. All of it is controlling us, okay? Including what's happening with our disclosure. Who cares? You know, why do we need that? Okay, oh, they're going to tell us. Tell us what? We already know. D do more pictures tell us anything? No. It's all, it's all controlled. It always has been. You've got to start thinking for yourself because this is what's going to happen in two years. The higher beings are starting to get, make themselves known in all kinds of form, whether it's craft as physical beings, whether it's orbs, whether it's people that show up in, you know, transparent form. We are diverse and so are they. I mean, we don't look alike. No two people look alike. We have how many species really here? You know, we call ourselves humans, but we look so different. What is that? Because we are all individuals created from one energy field, but we don't recognize ourselves as the one energy field. If we don't go back into that, we will constantly be in conflict with one another. That has to change within these next two years, and you are 100% responsible for that. Oh, you know what this is? Yeah, spiritual butt kick. Did you read my book? It's all in there. It tells you exactly if you don't go into that state of being, your life will go down a different road, and it's not the new earth. The new earth is not in conflict with itself. It's not in conflict with nature, other people. It is a place where we come together as community to experience being separate beings in a material planet. As we go into that, and the more you go into that and respect nature and everything else, the world will transition into the new earth and then the next, within the next two years. Why is that? If we don't do it, if we don't do it, we will destroy ourselves because the planet cannot sustain this abuse anymore. Factories and plastic, and if you're using any plastic, I'm not going to shame you. I'm just going to ask you why. All right? Our bodies are filled with it. Women's breast milk over here in the United States is loaded with plastic. That's a fact. Our fish out here in Florida, our redfish are loaded with opiates. We're poisoning ourselves. We've got two years. So Chris Bledsoe, the only person on the planet that I actually listen to and believe he's telling us his truth, was abducted back in 2008, I believe it was, along with his son. His whole family basically has experienced these beings and other people have seen them and participated in this. This is not one person's story. It's taken many years of agonizing, you know, dealing with the ridicule that we do to these people. Basically, the majority of people out there are making this stuff up, okay? But there are those who genuinely have experienced this stuff. I believe he is one of them. They shared with him after he decided he was going to stop talking about it because it was just too painful, right? Everybody's making fun of his kids. A beautiful lady appeared to him, blonde, gorgeous, you know, they always look like some etheric, beautiful being, appeared to him and shared information with him, some of which he has not shared with us yet. Why? We're not ready for it. So he's holding back on some things. We're going to see some things coming from him that are pretty big, including some pictures and photos, things that he has held back. He has thousands of them on Instagram. You can go over there and look. Chris Blood, so I don't know what his Instagram uh, handle is. But I know his book is called UFO of God, and I know his uh, website is UFO of God, so you can go over there and see a lot of stuff too. She shared with him that in when Regulus, that's a star, when Regulus is seen just before sunrise over the Sphinx, that we will go into a new era, a feminine era. No, this isn't. I saw an interviewer. She said, oh, the feminists are going to love that. And I thought, you didn't get it. You didn't get it. This, this isn't a feminist versus men. It is, no, there's no separation in this. It's going to go into nurturing, peace, and kindness because the feminine nature, obviously, is a less violent one, right? We've been controlled by dominant male thinking. And as Chris Bledsoe explained, 
women, and really it's an energy field because I'm not this, we've all been men and women before, has been held down because it's very powerful. It's actually way more powerful. And so it's been held down and controlled. We've seen that. That's been going on forever. It still does. It's going to change in two years because women will not allow wars. Women will not allow people on the streets and walking away from them. We will be solution makers. We are already doing that. And it's not just women. You guys out there are participating too. But not everyone. This is actually an individual choice. So he, look, he didn't even know what Regulus was. He looked it up. It's a star in Leo. When, and so he got a hold of an astrologist and found out, yes, exactly in April of 2026, Regulus will align and be seen in that spot over the Sphinx just before the sun rises. I, I think it's just before the sun rises. The shift will happen. Now, this is not a warning sign of something bad to come. And I've shared with you, I have sensed this, and I want to share my own, let's just say, messages. My whole book, I, you know, I, I never read my own book. I just wrote it. I channeled it, right? I channeled it, and I have not read my own book. There's information in there that's so powerful. It tells you exactly what you are, and there, nothing. you never have to read another book after that. It tells you exactly what we are and what's happening right now. The tipping point is happening right now. So I shared with you that we went through the split. People are going to start to realize, they either get my act together and they start to go into consciousness, or they start to battle for the old world, and they start to pick sides. So you're going to see all the kind of, you know, uh, looking at each other's skin colors and making a big deal out of that is a very big problem here. That is the unconscious side battling harder to create separation. Don't get involved in it. Because when we go into this new era, you will be living in the old earth and you won't know what happened. There are others who will recognize that we have to start living in the conscious state of being that is inclusive of all people, that we are not separate, we appear to be. It's just an illusion because once we leave our bodies, we're just light beings. We are, we are made in the fashion of source, right? God, what is that? Light. It's not a human, it's light because that light transforms in everything, including orbs. Now here's what Chris Bledsoe said about the orbs. He sees orbs. He said it's sort of funny, like all of a sudden everybody's into orbs. It's like we go into trends. Now it's orbs. It was craft before. Now it's orbs. They've always been here. We've seen them. We see them in pictures. You can see them. I'm going to actually have a master class. We're going to uh, learn how to call them in uh, because this has just been in my face for, for quite a while, and I think people are fascinated. I think the more you see these things, the more you realize there's so many things uh, here in this room with us that, that are cheering us on. They're of a higher dimension. They are of a higher frequency. They are uh, here to assist us. They're making themselves known to let us know that there are worlds out there that exist, and they do want to help us. So in 2026, there will be some assistance. And Chris Bledsoe called it, beautiful lady, called it uh, a new knowledge a new knowledge. So we're going to go into knowledge. What does that mean? I think we're going to have, a, I call it the knowing. The knowing, that's in my book if you want to read it. The knowing is you don't have questions anymore because you don't need answers. Because you are everything and there's nothing to question. I am that. I am. What else? I don't need to, to know anything else. I, I know that I'm a creator and the creation. And I know I can change anything, so why do I have to ask anybody what the future is going to be like? Because we're creating it. We can change it. What do we want it to be? We're going to go through transition, and you're going to see a lot of uh, more and more events, many smaller events, that are going to be the dissolving of the things that don't work. 
2026, you're going to see people that are making decisions that they're not puppets or being controlled by media or pharmaceuticals or governments or anything else, and that what they're telling us is just all manipulation. How can we possibly spend any time, even a, a minute of my time on that stuff isn't worth it. And I actually don't listen to that stuff, but I share this with you to let you know that your focus is creating. All right, and that those people are still being controlled. If you turn on certain media and the first thing you see, which by the way, uh, two platforms, both of them start with T. Yeah, uh, as soon as you put them on and when I'm loading, video after video of 100% violence of humans against humans. Who's allowing that? Who's behind those platforms? Why do I post? Because I'm not going to step back because that's there. I'm going to keep shining light. And you have to do it too. But do not get caught up in that. It is mind conditioning. It's meant to get you used to violence and used to uh, taking things and eating things that are just toxic to us. The whole world is toxic. So I'm going to introduce you to some people who are doing different things, especially health-wise telling you that we have everything we need to be healthy. The reason we're not is because we're putting toxins in our body constantly and it just doesn't have a fighting chance. And that's a choice of ours. So we have to, between now and 2026, clean up our act. Somebody said, what does it mean, clean? You know, get your house in order. In other words, you must start living now the life that is simpler, cleaner, respectful of everything. Animals, nature, humans, Bugs, do you know how important they are? Bees, all the, you know, we, we discount everything because it's small, it seems insignificant, and everything counts, and your thought counts. Get those in check. If you don't, in 2026, you'll struggle. You'll struggle because you're not in that room, you're not in the penthouse, you're down here, and you'll hear the, the cheers and the, the party going on there, and you will, you'll realize, I don't know how to get up there. I've been down here, I've spent so much time down in this basement, I don't even know how to get to the penthouse. Get to the penthouse now, all right? That means everything we do has to revolve around betterment for others, all, and that which you give, you receive immediately because that which I do is me, all right? What I want you to know is that I'm creating solutions and I'd like you to join me in that. If you are not, and by the way, Chris, this was, was so cool because Chris said the exact same thing. I said, oh my gosh, <sighs> there are people out there like me doing this, right? And he said, you have to be part of the solutions and stop focusing on the problems. Be a leader, be a change maker. Solutions, I've got it right on my website. Those of you who want to change how you earn, what you do for a living, what you offer the world, and how you live personally in passion, purpose, and positive impact. I launched Digital Explorers to train people on how to create businesses that serve others and give them great purpose and financially profit because we're not going to be a bunch of broke spiritual people. And that's another mind conditioning that tells you, oh yes, good people should never charge, but we can charge if we're over here damaging the planet. That's okay. You can go into your manufacturing plant and get a paycheck, but if you come home and do good things, you can't charge. Well, how are you supposed to pay your bills? Get out of that. We are not broke people because money in abundance is for everyone. It's how you use it, how you earn it, what do you do with it, how you look at it. It's just a vehicle. So if you're ready to do that, I invite you to click. This is a free uh, master class, and I explain why. Why businesses out there fail? Because they're living in the lower frequency way of operating. How, what is that? Just give me money. Give me money, and then I'll be happy. If I get the money, then I'll be happy, and that's why lottery winners go broke. Because they think it's going to make them happy, and they're not living the life. We have to live those lives right now. Right now. Are you ready to join me in that? All right, so you guys know these are free. These are my, I'm going to change that whole platform. We're taking it up a notch. I have what's called the Miracle Circle there. We meet once a month live, and you get an assignment. How do I get my frequency up? 
How do I get past all this other stuff? I have to understand the conditioning that I'm still walking around in and recognize it and not allow it to control me. And I developed the course called Breakthrough Fear because you, you don't have to eliminate fear. It doesn't go away because it's part of the experience here. We get to know what it is, but people are allowing it to control them. So they live in fear. They live in the lower frequency and you can come up here and see it and experience it and use it in a positive way, right? We go and see scary movies. Why? We love to be afraid. We enjoy it. But if you were in that condition all the time, it'd be horrible, wouldn't it? You'd never put your feet, dangle your feet over the bed. <laughs> all right, I have, to, I have a confession. I did, did hide under my brother's bed, and when he dangled his feet, I grabbed his ankles. <laughs> He lived to tell about it, and I lived to tell about it. Only because I run really fast. <laughs> so that's your 2026 prediction from the lady, not from Chris. He's just, you know, he's the messenger. When Regulus aligns with the Sphinx in April of 2026 before the sun rises, a new knowledge will come in and the world will change and shift into the feminine. That's a good thing. So get ready for it and start to live that. And don't start preaching to people, you're spiritual, you better do it. No, that's separation, that's ego also. Compassion, love, understanding, and also acceptance. People will make decisions that you're not gonna approve of. You're gonna have to allow it, but we don't have to stand back and allow destruction. We will have to step up our game now, so get ready. These two years are going to be very interesting. They're not going to be crazy, but they're going to be transitional. We are here in the most exciting time on this planet, and you are along for the ride by choice. So do your job. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. Come on over. Create a business with us. I'm teaching people how to do amazing things, things that they love, living the lives they should have. Why do we accept anything else? Namaste.